Hello everybody, it's Riley again. I'm back to finish up our introduction on Kime, the tabular bioinformatics data validation software that I talked about last time. If you missed my first video about what it is and how to install it, you can click the middle of your screen right now and it should have a link there that can take you back. If you're coming from that video, welcome back. I'm actually going to show you how to use it now. Just like last time, we'll be following along with the tutorial on the main Kime website, which is kime.chime.org, k-e-e-m-e-i dot q-i-i-m-e dot org, slash hashtag usage is where we're at right now. So when I was first asked to make this video, it was because someone wanted to know how to validate and create a Chime mapping file. Now they had been doing it by hand in Windows Notepad, but this makes it a little bit easier for you. Let's go back to our copy of this Kime demo file over here. Now I believe they pulled this data from another tutorial. This is not useful data at all, and the errors are on purpose so that I can show you how to find and fix errors in your mapping files. I won't be going over how to construct a mapping file up to this point, I'm going to assume you're here already. At some point I will make a video about that. How to get to this point is one of the next videos on my list, so don't stress too much. So the first thing that we're going to do is validate this sheet using the Kime add-on. Go up to Add-ons, Kime, and Validate Chime Mapping File. See it's working. And if you notice, some cells have lit up. This would be a good time to mention one of the biggest caveats with using this software. You cannot have colors in your cells, and you also should avoid using notes. Here, for example, is a note in Google Sheets. If you have notes and background colors in your original sheet, they will get deleted, they will be erased, they will be no more once you run this add-on. So make sure to have that information saved somewhere else if you're planning on using this. So the way the colors work is, cells that are red have errors, cells that are yellow have warnings. And here on the side is the validation report. It's got a summary of all of the errors that it found and information about each cell that came up. For example, let's hover over A3, cell A3, and it says that there's a duplicate sample ID in A3 and A5, which is obviously true. Here in A7, it's saying that there's an invalid character. I'm not going to show you how to fix all of these errors, but this one's pretty easy. I'm gonna get rid of this dash here. Now if I wanted that box to go away, I would run Kime again. Just by pressing this validate chime mapping file again. It's working, and look at that. A7 is just fine. We still have a lot of errors in this sheet. I'm not gonna bore you with me fixing all of them, mostly because it's not my data. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. So let's say you're trying to send this to another collaborator or something, and you don't want all these colors and notes all over it. It's pretty easy to get rid of them. Just go to add-ons, Kime clear validation status, and there you go. It's back to normal, although the sidebar is still here. Especially for bigger files that take up more than the screen, the sidebar is pretty useful because it will find them and just list them all for you and tell you exactly what's causing the error. I'll give you an example. I'm going to X out of this one and go over to this second tab. You can do this with me. This Chime 88 Soils tab. Now this is a huge file. Zoom out for a second. Look at that. It's gigantic. I could never personally go through every single piece of data in this, or I mean I probably could if I really wanted to, but it would take me forever. This is the kind of set that Kime was built for. I'm going to go to Add-ons, Kime, Validate Chime Mapping File. So nothing appeared to change color, but we did get a report here on the right, and it says two of the cells are invalid. 
046 and 066. Well, I don't feel like scrolling that far, so I'm going to click this button next to 046, which is called Focus Cell. It's actually a magnifying glass. To me, it looks like eighth notes in music, but it's a square magnifying glass. So click on that, and it found one of the cells for us. Here's our warning in 046. You could do the same thing in 066 by clicking on this button again. And it's found the second one. I think the same problem popped up in both. I guess your metadata isn't supposed to have apostrophes in it. I'll get rid of that. I'm going to run this again to see if I've fixed all the problems. Add-ons, keyme, validate. Okay, all's well, sheet chime 88 soils is in valid chime mapping file format. That is awesome. So we could actually go into chime and use this data. This sure has a lot of data in it. This is all metadata, mostly. All the way to BG. That is a ton of columns. I would absolutely hate to have to put this into Windows Notepad cell by cell, separating each cell by a tab, and that's what you have to do for mapping files. Instead, I think I'm going to use a built-in functionality of Google Sheets. File, download as, tab separated values. I'm going to open it. Wow. And this is what it's going to end up looking like. A lot of information. One last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial. You can also use Keyme to validate SRGD files. This is the example given and uh, you can see all of the errors. I mean they really made it obvious this time. They literally put ABC15 into random cells. But you do it the exact same way, go to add-ons, keyme, validate, srgd file, and the red and yellow cells pop up with their warnings, as well as this focus functionality here on the right in the validation report. And I'm sure as soon as you got rid of all the errors, it would give you a clean bill of health and you can export that as well. If you're using Chime and you're wondering how you could get the mapping file we just made into Chime, they have a tutorial on the Chime website, which I will link to in the description of this video. Basically, you use a script called Load Remote Mapping Files, which is a Python script. You can read more about it on their website. But that is all for our first Keyme tutorial, hopefully it was useful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll get to them if I know the answer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.